Josh's dog has a name. I mean, his name's Brody, but it's not like he'll ever know it. Oh, I still call him by his name, but it's kind of useless. He's just getting older, and he got fixed and everything, and so, I mean, he's paying attention to his hand commands a little more. No, I, I don't know. The dog's doing really good. He seems to be a lot more well-behaved. He listens better. Well, I mean, follows commands better. Well, I got the job at Hiram's because it was close to my house and all I was doing was walking around and walking into places asking if they were taking resumes or applications. Um, and uh, I worked there for probably three months. It couldn't have been longer than three weeks. I don't know. I kind of got fired slash told them to screw themselves. Uh, my manager didn't really like me. And he told me he got fired because the guy who works there, whose mom is the manager, uh, I guess he's like 30 and unattractive, and he likes to talk to the high school slash college girls that work there. And as soon as my brother started working there, they didn't want to talk to this guy anymore. They wanted to talk to Josh. And so Josh is like, oh, I got fired because this guy doesn't like these girls talking to me instead of him. Uh, well, my girlfriend used to work at JCPenney's and she got me a job there. I worked there for a total of like six hours, I believe, and that was the only time I was training. So Josh got this job at JCPenney's and he was t he actually told me he was working and I just found out that he never really had any hours there. Um, my first day of work, the alarm got set for p.m. not a.m. so. This is ridiculous. The only job that I did was when we had to be back for Christmas and uh, I don't know, all I did was stand there for one day and hand out coupons. So his newest job, which I'm praying lasts longer than three weeks, and I think maybe it already has, I think maybe he's at the three week mark right now, is Circle K. Set me up on the computer application process. It took two days. First day it took about seven hours. Second day it took about another seven hours. So I mean a total of 14 hour application process, I mean yeah you're getting paid, but it, <laughs> it's so hardcore to apply and get a job there. And then it took us another two hours to fill out all the paperwork. It was like 60 to 70 pages of paperwork. You have to put your name on at least 40 pages of it. My family tends to exaggerate. I think we get it from my dad, so I'm almost positive that that's an exaggeration. But whatever. At least he's got the job. Who fucking cares? <laughs> well, so yeah, I got the job and they put me on graveyard shifts. Which is good because then somebody can be with the dog during the day and someone can be with the dog at night. He's very dependent. If somebody's not around, he freaks out. Like, just like he's freaking out since we're not moving. We're just sitting here. <laughs> His first day of work at Circle K, he was supposed to come and help me shoot a scene for my movie, which is very important, and he never showed up. And he told me the night before when he was out getting wasted that if he didn't answer his phone to keep calling and wake him up, and I said, I better not have to keep calling and wake you up. You better just remember, and you better show up. And then the shoot was over, and he hadn't showed up, and I called and left this message on his answering machine that said, you better not even call me to apologize because I'm not speaking to you right now. I was like, I am totally pissed. Like, I, I have never been so mad. And I didn't find out until probably a week and a half later when I decided to talk to him again that he actually got called into work, his first day at work, that he had been waiting for and waiting for. Circle K was just kind of messing around with him. And finally they called him on the one day he had something to do and so he showed up at my house with flowers and an apology and I felt really bad. Um, 
I just basically wear cash register and clean the store at night and deal with a lot of drunk asses and crackheads and everything else. And the other night I went down there to give him a present that I got him in New York and I couldn't even believe the kind of people that he has to deal with. I mean, I know there are a lot of crazy people in Eugene, but apparently they all congregate at Circle K in the middle of the night. Uh, the, the people that were in there when I was there stole something. And as soon as they left, he comes out from behind the counter and he was so pissed and he's like, that's the second time that girl stole something when she was in here. The next time she comes in, I'm kicking her out. I'm banning her for good. And I was like, why didn't you just kick her out now? Like, why did you wait for her to steal something and leave again? He's like, because I couldn't be sure. I have to watch the tapes. There's nothing like Circle K. <laughs> he doesn't play online poker for 16 hours a day anymore. I mean, I went from having no money for a good year and a half, like not even having $5 in my pocket for a month, and now I've got enough money to be able to deal with the likes of him and still be able to feed us good. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> Better than a year ago.